sounds like the music's a little different at practice. How, how's the, what's the vibe been like? Oh, it's been a real good vibe. Um, a lot of good music. It just brings the spirits up, so we have the energy to practice. Is it, is it strange now just to have this type of music blaring over the practice and stuff like that? Is it, is it, does it take a little bit of getting, getting used to? I mean, it's kind of different. We used to have noise playing at practice with Jimbo, but it's, it's different. It's kind of different now because it's music. Get us energized. People be out there bopping to the music and stuff like that. Yeah. Is it more fun? Yeah, it's, it's fun. Who's in charge of the playlist, man? Uh, I think Francois charges the playlist right now. <laughs> yeah, I think he is. How's his music taste? Man, he liked to dance, so he played a lot of dancing music at practice. And we be telling him, this, this is not home. We're not at home. So <laughs> he got to play some music that'll get everybody crunk or something. Yeah. Overall, it's just a different vibe out there than what you've been used to your first few years? Yes, it's a way different vibe. It's more calm vibe. Everybody more laid back, more relaxing. We get through practice more smoother, and it, it, it's a whole lot easier. You like it? That yeah, way? I like it. What have your initial impressions and conversations with Coach Taggart been like so far? Coach ready to light the scoreboard up. He, he told me he ready to do some big things, you know, scoring three plays, put 50 points up on people, not be on the field too long. Imagine, I imagine you like hearing that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love hearing that. We're going deep. <coughs> He's going to run a lot faster what he's always done, which means a lot of the field for the offense. Is that another big bonus for you guys just to get more reps every game? Oh, yes, it's a huge, huge bonus because we got so many weapons. Everybody's going to be used in this offense. And it's like we got one dude, we got another dude. You don't know who to stop, who's going to get the ball. So we're going to keep the defense on their toes. Do you have a chance to, to look at what they've done on, or what he's done on offense much and kind of get a sense of what your responsibilities might be? Oh, yeah, most definitely. As soon as he took the job and looking at his offense. Mm -hmm. I, really, I really like it spread around. Um, Everybody touched the ball in the offense. That's what I like. And we go vertical a lot, so it's a big difference. You talked about the idea of it being simpler. Uh, is, that, is that apparent when you watch? I mean, yeah, it, it looks real simple. I mean, not too many routes ran, not too much to do. But um, I'm ready to, I'm ready to um, take control of this offense, and, and we, let's get it going. What's the motivation for you guys since last week getting into the bowl game, man? I mean, just finish strong. We got ourselves in this situation. We might as well finish strong, so just practice hard, win the bowl game. Does it feel kind of unusual in that, you know, everybody's sort of focused on moving forward with Coach Taggart, but you also have another game to play and you want to finish strong out, and you feel like you, not that you're being pulled in two different directions, mm -hmm. but you have two different goals? Yeah, that, it, it does feel that way, kind of. Um, you know, Coach Taggart just got here, so everybody want to learn a new offense and see what he's all about, but we still have a game to play. And we still have our old offense that we're still using now. So we just talk, take it serious day, at, day after day. And um, time will come with Coach, Coach so you, Taggart. So you guys aren't changing the offense much for the bowl game? Nah, we still run the same offense. Is it hard not to look forward too much, though, to next year, uh, just with the new coaching staff and everything? Is it, is it hard not to look too far forward? It's kind of hard. I'm, I'm, I know we all ready to go and learn this new offense. But um, as I was saying, we just got to stay focused. It's tough, though. It's tough on all. I know it's tough on me because I want to learn it. <laughs> Have you talked to Odd at all about whether he's coming back with you next year to kind of lead the offense? Oh yeah, I don't. I don't know nothing about that. I mean, what is it like? Um, as a, I forgot my question. It was a really good question. <laughs> 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 you threw me off. Dang. <laughs> Could have been that good. Um, what is it like? You know, you have some players that are not here anymore. You have some coaches that are not here anymore. How is tough is that on for you guys as players? I mean, being with players and coaches for three years and having them recruit you and the ones that brought you to this college, I mean, it's, it's, it's quite different. They, they're leaving and coming to your senior year because I'm about to be a senior. It, it, it's, it's quite mind-bothering, but life moves on, you know. So you got to do what you got to do. That 40-year winning streak, that's going to be obviously on the line for you guys. you talk to any former players or anybody kind of reach out to you guys like, hey, you guys have to win this to keep that going? Uh, not too really, but uh, but you know the former players be at practice sometimes and they be telling us what to do, what we need to do, how they practice and how we should have changed our practice and have the right mindset to keep this streak going. So, yeah, it's just it's a little communication. Yeah. Like our videos? Then you'll love being a premium member of Warchant.com with exclusive access to breaking news, insight, and analysis from the best on the beat. Enter the promo code WARCHANT30 on our sign-up page and get exclusive premium access for free for the next 30 days. WARCHANT.com, your ultimate seminal sports source.